1983, I lost my mother to a horrible car accident and didn't deal with her death and never grieved her death. My mom was my life. I wanted an answer. I wanted to know why. I saw my mother in that casket. I was mad. I even shouted in my room several times, I hate God. There is no God to me. That's what I said. Before I turned 18, I had self-medicated with alcohol. I drank because I thought it was going to help me feel better, and I didn't. It made it worse. I drank because I missed my mother. I drove home one night and pulling around the corner and it's kind of a curvy road. Car pulls out in front of me and I'm trying to avoid get a DUI nonetheless. I don't want to hit the car. My front tire hits the curb, airbag goes off, my hands go off the wheel and car goes straight into a small wall, barrier wall. I hear this god awful screaming. I thought, get out of my car. And they go, you just hit a kid. The feeling I felt when that woman said I hit a kid, I suddenly thought, I'm no better than the person that hit my mother. And when I was found guilty in 2004, I was like, that sealed the deal. I was done. I was sent to prison for five years. Come back to my bunk, and I found a book, Battlefield of the Mind, on my bunk. Read the book, applied some things that I could apply in prison to survive. For the first time in my life, I was happy to be alive. In 2008, I was released from prison. And in 2009, I attended my first Joyce Meyer conference. It was at that conference I was saved. And that's why I choose to volunteer to, to let people know how God is great and what God can do for people. And I'm grateful for, I'm blessed and honored and grateful to, to volunteer and I'm thankful that uh, Joyce allows God to use her to reach out to all of us. <laughs> because, because of Joyce, I've got a second chance. And because of her partners, I was able to be even introduced to Joyce. And I'm grateful and very blessed for that. And I thank all of you for having the opportunity to have a second chance. I'm very appreciative.